Well, the things that have brought Chattanooga thus far include inclusiveness. We've got to have not just new leaders, but we've got to have everybody who wants to have a place at the table. Whether they're uh, the soldier or the general, it doesn't make a lot of difference. We have to be inclusive because the the city will not be carried forward by five white guys or any other five people. Um, it's going to take, especially with the diverse donor group we're going to have, it's going to take people of all stripes, and all colors, and uh, all stations in life to make this work. Um, second of all, I think we've got to have a new vision for what success looks like. I think this city has to put a stake out there that doesn't just say we're going to redo the waterfront or we're going to be the gig city. I think we have a, need to put a stake out there that says something like every child uh, has quality public education. Every child who is reading below grade level by the end of the third grade will not be passed on so that they get to high school without reading at adequate levels. We've got to have some stakes in the ground where this community says, if it takes more taxes, is it takes more bodies, if it takes more discussions, whatever it is, we've got to have these stakes in the ground for quality situations for our children because you know, that's, we're now producing another generation of highly divided children, um, divided not by their skill levels, but by their family incomes. And that is going to hurt our competitiveness, not just against Birmingham and Nashville and Atlanta, it's going to hurt our competitiveness against Hong Kong and Dresden and London and all the other cities in the world. And we've got to start thinking about that global competitiveness because that's really where it is. People say, well, NAFTA you know, screwed up the country. No, NAFTA didn't screw up the country. Globalization is the reality which we've got to prepare for, and we're not prepared. You know, your, your problem isn't the guy across the desk from you who you're sitting in math class with. In fact, he'd better be your ally. It's the guy sitting in India who is working 50% more hours in school than you are, and you're going to get to compete with him or her. That's, that's where our vision has to go, and it's not there yet.